Welcome to my home by the sea, Hampton University. Today I'm going to tell you why my foundation in cultural storytelling, extensive film experience, and mission to use film as the catalyst for change in the community and in the entertainment industry makes me the best candidate for HBCUs in LA. Let's go! First off, Emancipation Oak, the foundation of HU. My foundation in film began in 2016 when I was selected by the Nate Parker Summer Film Institute to be a screenwriter on a short film and returned the next summer to be a mentor. Both films were screened at the Pan-African Film Festival. I have extensive filmmaking experience. Last summer, I studied abroad in Montreal, Canada, where I wrote and directed my first short film, Free Dirt, which was selected for a film festival in Harlem and aired on Vermont PBS. Since then, I've completed a series of documentaries and short films available to watch on my YouTube channel. Welcome to Scripps! Here I'm active in my major, contributing to Burn 757, a student PR firm, and being a writer for WHOV TV. The skills built here in my major led to a video and content creation internship at Port Discovery and a volunteer social media internship at Peninsula Reads. Speaking of volunteerism, field trip! Welcome to the Boys and Girls Club! I seek to use film as a catalyst for change, not only in the film industry, but in the community. Here at the Boys and Girls Club, I started a program called Ebony Einstein, which educates, empowers, and inspires black youth through cinema. Through screenwriting workshops, film screenings, vision board parties, and more, my mission is to use film to affirm black youth in their creative voice. We've reached the end of our tour, Legacy Park. I hope to leave my legacy as the next great black filmmaker. This is my second time applying for HBCUs in LA, and it will mean the world to me to gain this opportunity to network, gain industry experience, and jumpstart my career in film after Hampton. I'll leave you with this quote by Viola Davis. I became an artist, and thank God I did, because we're the only profession that celebrates what it means to live a life. Thank you.